Are you looking at getting a mortgage and purchasing a home, but you also have these student loans that are sort of getting in the way? Maybe they're not allowing you to purchase a home or, or maybe just not qualified for what you really want to purchase. Well, luckily, Illinois last year did something good. That's right, something good came out of 2020. It's called the Smart Buy Program. Not only can you maybe receive down payment assistance in purchasing a home, but maybe pay off those student loans as well. Hi, I'm Jake Tishak, that guy that sells houses, and today we're reviewing a program put together by the Illinois Housing Department Authority, better known as IDA, called the Smart Buy Program. Now this went into effect last year, and not only does it allow more people down payment assistance, which is very common with IDA uh, programs, but also a unique feature that helps pays off student loans. And as we know, student loans in this country are getting out of hand and a little bit crazy. So let's talk a little bit about exactly how this program will work. Now, let's start off with the uh, actual student loan payoff portion first. Now, like I said, the, the program is meant to spend up to $40,000 to help pay off student loans. Now, the way this number comes about is actually calculated off of the sales price. So for example, if you're looking at purchasing a $200,000 home, uh, you can utilize up to 15% of that purchase price for $30,000, and they'll uh, use this money to pay off the loan. Now, keep in mind with this, I did say that you need to pay off your student loans. Now, if you have student loans, they have to be in your name. It can't simply be a loan from a, a parent or a family member or a, a personal loan. It actually has to be a loan in your name stated for educational purposes. But if you are looking and that 15% isn't going to cover paying off your student loans, are you no longer eligible? Well, you can still bring funds if you do have eligible funds to bring that portion down so those student loans are fully satisfied at closing. Again, this program is designed to help create a more comfortable living experience. And by having a mortgage payment as well as that student loan, it's not going to cooperate. By eliminating that student loan, it makes it a lot more affordable for Illinoisans to purchase a home and live comfortably in that home. Now, one other thing to keep in mind with the student loan program is, is if there are two of you actually applying for the mortgage and you both have student loans, this can benefit you both. You are still limited to the 15% total. You don't each get 15%, just 15% total. And that funds can, can be used to pay off both of your student loans. Now keep in mind, both uh, people's loans have to be satisfied and paid off. If you can uh, pay off only one, you can still utilize this fund. However, any leftover funds do not go to the other person's loans, unless, again, you pay them off. Now, the funds that you receive to pay off your student loans are not repayable. The way it works is you're gonna need to sign a personal loan. Now, this loan is over 36 months or three years, and each month it's paid off with no payment from you. It simply is reduced by each month that you live in the home. So it's an important key to make sure that you want to stay in this home for three years. This is a general guideline that is always best followed, but more importantly here, as if you do move out of that home, you're going to have to pay back those funds. Now for the home buying part. With the mortgage, as I mentioned, it does offer down payment assistance. That's up to $5,000. Now this $5,000 can be used either for down payment or closing costs or anything in between. Uh, and also keep in mind though that you are required to bring at least 1% or $1,000 uh, to contribute to the loan as well. But besides that, this portion is a little bit different compared to the student loan portion. Uh, this $5,000 is actually repayable. Now the way this works is you have two mortgages. Your first is the one you're obligated to pay on a monthly basis as you would any other mortgage. But the second mortgage is tied to this $5,000. Now it's payable again over 30 years, the same as your mortgage. However, there's no payment to it, or is there any interest? So you're just simply, once you either pay off your mortgage or move out, required to re, uh, repay this $5,000. But besides that, it's a great way to help alleviate that and get a little bit more comfortable uh, down payment getting into a home. As you can see, this is a really a great program. Not only are you getting an opportunity to move into a home a little bit sooner, but you're eliminating student loans. And I think that is an excellent program. I really have to say I applaud Illinois for putting it together. However, there are some limitations and requirements that come along uh, with this program. So if you are looking at purchase at home, mostly here in the uh, Chicagoland area we'll focus on, but you can see the numbers for surrounding counties as well. You have to be purchasing at home less than $327,000. Now, in addition to that, there is some income limitations as well and your household income, regardless of how many people actually live in the home, is around $109,000. 
And this is both assuming that uh, you are purchasing a single family home and you can see there's some different requirements if you are buying a duplex or something different. Also keep in mind that you do have to have a minimum credit score of 640 points. And as I mentioned before, for the student loans, it's important to keep in mind that they have to be paid off and those loans do have to be in your name. So again, I'm really excited for this program. I think it's a great opportunity. And of course, if you are looking for a lender that does specialize with IDA loans, feel free to give me a call or reach out. I'd be happy to give you some recommendations. Also, if you are just trying to find out more information about what's going on in the real estate market, take a look at our video up here. And if you want more information about the home buying process, take a look there. Any questions besides that, always feel free to give me a call. I'm Jake Tishak with Keller Williams. Thanks for watching. Bye.